wolf, I heard air sniffing around it all. To the silver night, I feel my heart beat. Never tell me you're gonna have more. Single full moon rise, telling me what's in store. The heart stop aching, my body started shaking, and I can't take no more. No, no, no. I just wanna get close to you.
Okay, that was amazing. That was a very well done music video. Uh, the guys really pulled it off. And you know what? I'm not going to waste any more time here. I am going to bring the guys up because we are going to talk about how they made it and how it was. And introducing first is the great Nikki Starr. Hi. The how great. are you? Wow, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the all out mighty Jack the Ripper. He did really good as the girl in that. He did really good at that. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we got the lovely singer T. Wait. Who is that? Happy Halloween! <laughs> That's not, Ooh, I'm the best. Yeah, that, is, that is not T-Bone. That is some werewolf. Ugly. And what happened to you? Oh, there you oh, are. Oh, there, there, you, there you are. Ow, Velcro. Ow. <laughs> Patience, everyone has it. to wait for me. Hold on. Reminds me of an episode of Gene Simmons Family Jewels when Gene got his hair stuck. <laughs> Gene wishes he had jewels like me. Anyways, all right. Okay, so we got these three lovely people on here, but we also um, had the two guys that helped made it um, from uh, Crucible Media. Hope I said that right. And I'm going to bring them on here. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, hey how's it going? I'm pretty good. Um, and uh, what are your guys' names? I'm Dylan. I'm Austin. <laughs> And where are you guys from? Like, where are you guys? We're in Dayton, Ohio. We uh, run a media company called Crucible Media. We do music videos, productions, films, commercials, weddings, you name it. Huh. How long have you guys been doing this? Four to five years, I think. Yeah, we started off pretty, uh, pretty slow just as a part-time thing and then uh, gradually just got more and more work and until it became a full-time thing that took over our lives. Yeah, I've probably been full-time filmmakers for at least the past three years, maybe maybe four. Yeah. How many like how many videos have you guys shot? Too many uh, to hang A lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, varying from like very very cheap indie stuff to really expensive stuff in LA. Like mm -hmm. we kind of just go wherever the work is. And in the beginning of our career, it's like. We just had to say yes to everything. Yeah. The first two years was just whatever. You know, if you had 20 bucks and bought me dinner, I'd show up with a camera. But yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, well, that's that's a long time ago. <laughs> it's a good deal right there. I took it. You know, that was back when we were shooting with like, you know, the cheapest stuff that you could possibly find and just trying everything we could to make it look not horrible. You learn to get really creative when you have no money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how did you guys find these lovely people? Uh, they found us, actually. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I, I seen a, a video that they did um, of a friend of ours named Mick Blankenship mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> thought the quality was amazing. And uh, we were kind of contemplating this idea of putting a video together to kind of like um, recreate a video. And, and honestly, I think when i got a hold of these guys i was kind of i was thinking like something in in vain of the video right and i i remember talking to, i think it was dylan he was like no we need to shoot this scene for scene and i'm like okay that would be really cool like I, that sounds like a lot more work but i mean i i think that you're right i think that would be killer so um that was his idea to do it scene by scene and and I, it was definitely the right idea because it turned mm -hmm. out really really cool well Actually, kind of speaking of that, um, you know, because each shot you guys did was really like on on spot with the original video. So, like, what did you guys do to like prepare to, you know, make sure that each shot was like the other video? So I did a little copyright infringing. I, uh, <laughs> I ripped the original video off of YouTube and then saved it on my computer, brought it into my editing software and spent probably 12 hours one day just going frame by frame and cutting each cut from the original video mm -hmm. and then putting it together in its own timeline for each individual person in the video and then se separating each individual location and then separating each individual setup in each individual location for each individual person. <laughs> Wow. When we were at the actual shoot day, we had uh, like a blueprint that we could follow 
precise which was very helpful because usually when it comes to music videos like it can be up in the air and like th all kinds of creative things have to ha be happening but when we have a blueprint already laid out for us yeah. it makes it a lot easier a lot more smooth so when we're when we're building something we make what's called a storyboard and right. I, we were basically making this storyboard in reverse yeah. uh, which was new uh, <laughs> but I, I liked it. it it was it was a new thing and, and I think it turned out really well and Austin's right when, when we got there we were able to be like okay you here we talked to our lighting guy and was like this is what we need the lighting to look like and he's come down this way and we it was already all laid out there was no guesswork well again I mean the, the the entire video was really on point and i guess i should ask this because me and t-bone were kind of talking about this before uh the show was happening um i mentioned to him what was the toughest shot and i want to hear from all of you what was the toughest shot in your guys's opinion i okay i think <laughs> i think it's obvious when you look at the uh when you look at the video it was the wide shot with the full band yeah uh, <laughs> because you know we we were working with we were working with what we had and we didn't right. have a giant, you know, 500 yard sound stage with cranes and right. a big giant stage. And uh, so that was definitely, definitely difficult to try to match. Yeah. There was also yeah. a point where Dylan was like balancing on a 30 foot ladder. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With our yeah, super expensive 5k cinema <laughs> camera in his lap, just like, shaking and holding on to it like with a zoom lens so it's like extra shaky and i'm just like holding the ladder trying to make him not shake that was so, so hard right there yeah. well you pulled it off well and luckily you you know made it through so you know props to you thank you thank you and the, one of my favorite shots of course is the inf infamous uh violin scene you know when you're playing oh, yeah. the violin with the guitar <laughs> i was so glad you guys included that uh it's kind of a question for Nikki. Um, how did it feel for you to actually do that, you know, shot? You just, you know, doing that just like in the original. Yeah, it was cool. I I, I, I watched the uh, original and I remember I'm like, man, this is going to be really awkward because we were, we were standing there. Uh, it's just me, that camera and the light guy. Uh, and it's like I have to do this whole uh, I don't I don't know how to really word it, but very uh like you're making love to the camera kind of a thing <laughs> right was, it was kind of it was kind of awkward but i think we pulled it off and then uh and then the violin bow thing was cool that was uh i just channeled my inner jimmy page there for that so <laughs> yeah jimmy page i'm jimmy page look yeah well actually jack i think you did a lot of good love for the camera because i like the uh, expressions you were making throughout the video you know you were like getting all up in the camera like, were you just improvising there, just going through it? Well, um, you couldn't really see it in the video, but the platform we were on, if you gave right. it enough, like, uh, muscle, it would actually move. Not like... Oh, really? It's not sliding across the stage, but but it, it, it would move a little bit. So some of those expressions are me wondering if I was going to fall over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, basically how we shot that was... Each individual person did like uh, maybe a run through or two of the song. I think actually it was just one run through for, for most of us. Um, really? We all did a run through by ourselves on a platform. And then uh, then we did the wide shot. Um, I, they did start with some of the um, the uh, the theatrical scenes. Uh, and then we went to the band, the, the band stuff. But it was like band individual member. And then we went to. Uh, the wide the wide shot and i think we only ran through that a time or two too as well we knocked the whole thing out and i think like eight or eight or ten hours or something it was it uh it didn't really take that long oh wow and of course you know they at the end of the video you know you guys decided to throw a t-bone into that truck yeah so <laughs> that <was> so rude <laughs> <laughs> yeah what the heck yeah, that's, that's, in the original, that's in the original video as well and yes. uh, it's actually my van so <laughs> I was wondering whose van it was. It made, was it made a uh, special appearance. I drove it. <laughs> oh, and I do, have to give a I do have to give a shout out to uh, Greg Lanehart. Uh, we used his, I think, was it a Camaro or Charger uh, for for the for the shoot. We 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 were gonna have a Jaguar lined up, but it, it fell through. So we ended up uh, using his. Like I said, I think it's a Charger. I can't remember. 
But uh, but yeah, so special thanks to him. I think he nicknamed it Betty, so it's Black Betty, so it made it uh, special. I, was, I, knew it. I was waiting for that. Ooh, Black Betty. Uh, okay, so on the on the one thing I do have to talk about um, is uh, Portia uh, Valentino. She uh, did so good at playing uh, Tawny Katane. So can you guys tell me, um, if you guys know, how long did it take her to like, you know, prepare for that role? <laughs> she showed up ready. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, she did actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like we said, we had those like uh, those cutouts from the actual video already like placed out for her, and we were like playing them back and forth with her and making her like realize what her body movements were doing and make her feel more comfortable in that space. And uh, as we just played it more and more, we all just kind of like felt it out. We showed her the monitor of what she looks like on the camera and then showed the, the video next to it. And we're like, so you're kind of getting it this way. Maybe move your head a little bit more, or move your, move your jaw this way or look up at the light this way. You know, it just took a few tries and she was just rocking it the whole time. Yeah. I think my favorite shot of her was the, uh, the couch scene, you know, the part where she's wearing the blindfold. Uh, she did that really well. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Part. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were, I thought you were going to say you liked the part where you made out with her. Oh, uh, that was another. <laughs> <laughs> but actually T-Bone, here's one thing for you. You, uh, you know, you're a great singer. Your vocals are always spot on every time I see you. Um, <laughs> And of course, you know, you are trying to, you know, sing still the night and, you know, David Coverdale is a hard guy to cover. So like, you know, how did, how do you manage to pull all that off? Cause you know, he's a hard singer. Lots of karaoke. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> though, um, no, um, when I first started doing karaoke, that was one of the first songs that I found that was a really good reaction off of. But uh, for David Coverdale, you've got to realize that um, he comes from a more bluesy background. So, mm -hmm. He really, I, I, I get carried away with this even on stage sometimes because I want to, you know, speed through lyrics and go really fast through a song sometimes. But with David Coverdale, Coverdale's singing, you got to kind of find that rhythm, rhythm and blues, so to speak, find that rhythm that he sings in. And if you can kind of imitate uh, one part of his vocal range, then if you can get one part of it, it makes, you know, the other parts much easier. Um, and you get in the high notes. I mean, I don't think, you know, you're never going to be a hundred percent on a singer unless, I mean, say you were doing like a tribute to like one band or something. I don't know, mm -hmm. maybe, but even then, like you just have to do the best you can with, uh, what you got and then, you know, train yourself as much as possible with that one. I will say I've had a lot of practice with that song and oh, yeah. karaoke thing was, you know, kind of joking, but at the same time, you know, that was, I had a lot of practice with it for a couple of years and, uh, I actually got more, uh, practice when we play it on you know, in the shows now so um yeah we, we we've been playing that one live for uh quite a few for quite a few years I, probably two or three and uh i remember when we we went over and, and recorded your vocals for that song i mean you knocked it out in you know a take or two i mean it wasn't it didn't take very long to knock that out so and i think you were sick <laughs> yeah i was yeah. getting over a uh, sinus infection yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was uh, very congested that day <laughs> you guys should play uh I don't know, maybe another White Snake song like "Fool for for Love and No More." That that would be a good one to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see you guys pulling that one off. And also, I kind of want to see Nikki and E kind of put down her guitar and do the little Steve I thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So you guys, you know, made this video. You also did a you know a previous video of Metal Health, and I gotta know is are you guys gonna make uh, more videos in the near future? Uh, yeah, we were we were um, mainly going to see how this did. Uh, obviously, we had a ton of fun doing this one, uh, and I think it turned out great. And uh, um, we're going to see how it does for the next few weeks and see if it uh, if it uh, you know gets a lot of attention and, and whatnot. And and but I, I think so. I, I think we want to do more videos. Um, we did a uh, what did you what do you call that quarantine video for mental health? Yeah, the mental health one. But that's that that wasn't a proper video for that song. So um, I could see us remaking that in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I could see us uh, doing a couple other songs in the future, too. Um, you know, maybe find some sort of a every four to six month rotation or something and, and put out a video or something. I think that would be kind of cool. 
Hmm. My vote is nobody's full metal health and uh, uh, skid row uh, monkey business. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be Actually, cool. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we have to find videos that we can, uh, you know, remake fairly, uh, fairly cheap. Yeah, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, wild where, side, some maybe. Of those, some of those '80s music videos had like you know five hundred thousand dollar budgets, and we we don't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys could do the wild side video for Motley Crue. Just you know, don't put the infamous uh, drum solo in it. Oh right. Could right. you upside down? Yeah. Yeah. You never know. We could yeah, just. I want we oh, could just ahead. green screen Ryan's head on uh, Tommy Lee. <laughs> <for the drums. laughs> It'll work. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. This so uh, and then Tommy Lee's yeah. gonna go on YouTube. We're going brought, okay, brought it's... the budget way down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy Lee's gonna look at it like, who's that guy? <laughs> I will say there was a moment in time where I thought, you know, like, hear me out. Don't judge me too quickly on this. I was thinking if we did like. You know, a song like Warren's Cherry Pie, right? Mm -hmm. And then we had yeah. Jack be the girl. I think yeah. it would just be so phenomenal. He could be like on his little roller skates and throwing pie everywhere. <laughs> Jack, you, know, you can do Jack a, the Ripper. I think, I think that's the next one. Around. There it is. There we go. I'm, Jack, you I'm are going to play. My face 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 on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're Bobby Brown, Jack. Look at that. <laughs> He's got it. Who would have known? He's blushing because he knows long wig, you know? <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> But who's and then of course uh you know T Bone, you're gonna right when you see you know Jack, it's Bobby Brown, you're gonna do the wow <laughs> or and are you really gonna too, so I guess it works. <laughs> uh, okay, so um with uh, the you know, still the night video being such a pretty good successful actually. I mean you guys have been getting a pretty good amount of views. I remember checking it this morning, it was three hundred and fifty two, but Nikki recently told me it was like what up to like 1500 or something yeah yeah on youtube i think it's up over 1500 and uh on facebook we just released it on facebook at like six o'clock so um i'll be interested to see where it is at the end of the week so see how it does well and what was the what was your guys' favorite shots to do or what was the best part of the video mm. i i liked um I like shooting a lot of the the stuff at, at the venue. I mean, we had we had uh, the lighting just turned out really well. You know, we had a lot of a lot of toys to play with over we there, which was fun. That's good. Speaking of which, where was that? Where did you guys uh, film that, by the way? Uh, King of Clubs in Columbus. Uh, it's a venue, a new venue up there that they uh, they have bands at and whatnot. And uh, <clears throat> it was funny. We were looking for a venue, and a lot of places were were just throwing out some insane money to, 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 to book something there. And it was just like, you know, I don't know how the hell we're going to find a place to do this, but um, we, they literally posted a video as I was kind of like searching through stuff. They literally posted like a link and said, uh, bands looking for, to make music video, contact us. We're, <laughs> it was like, it was like the lights were shining down on me, like uh, from heaven. And, uh, and uh, so anyways, uh, I got a hold of them and, they were reasonable and, and uh, we made it happen. So yeah, they were really great. They had a lot of really nice tech to work with, really, yeah. really cool lighting setups that we could basically do anything we wanted at any color and any intensity that we wanted to do. Yeah. For the narrative setups, we had our own light kit that we use uh, that we, we would set up like in the in the green room. We made that that look. We did it in the parking garage. We uh, we worked it out a certain kind of way. That was another big challenge was in the parking garage uh, yeah. oh. uh, find outlets that would work with the lights and then yeah. it was basically useless to try to smoke it up i don't know what kind yeah. of paint fog machine they were using on the original video but <laughs> it's a big open parking garage the wind just blew it away yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah we were in, uh, like downtown columbus in a parking garage <laughs> doing those scenes I, I wonder if like when people would come up and, and actually no one really did there were some people on some scooters that drove by but uh, i'm sure they were like what the hell is going on here <laughs> it's a big party that's what it was all day a couple days before that we went to like 13 or 14 different parking garages to look for the right look yeah and we finally came across the one we used that it was like the last or the second to last one we went to and we were like okay yeah, we, we'd been in Columbus for like eight hours and we're like, fuck, we're done. Like, <laughs> anymore, we're just going to wing it. I don't care if we shoot it in a parking lot. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, all right, one more. We'll go to one more place. Yeah. One more. Yeah. And it, and worked it was out. like, oh, look at that. Actually, the scene. Cool. The scene where you're like shooting down on uh, uh, Tony Katane walking, walking, you know, down, I guess, the street, and you're like shooting down on it, and it looks just like the music video. I, I love that scene. Actually, when you were talking, saying what is what is our favorite scenes in the music video, honestly, my, my favorite stuff is the theatrical stuff mm -hmm. um, with uh, Portia. Uh, killed it, uh, absolutely killed it. And, uh, it's so cool because you know I'm a I'm a fan of White Snake and I've seen that video a thousand times. So when I watch this, I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool to, you know, the um, how how much how how the attention to detail to a lot of that stuff was was uh, recreated. Um, we even I remember we found a, a fan, uh, an old school fan on uh, Marketplace, and yes. uh, had T Bone run over and grab it. Uh, but that that it's an old vintage fan just like uh, in the music video. So we wanted to, you know, recreate a lot of that stuff as much as accurately as possible. The little things like that are really what bring it all together. I mean, yeah, right. It wasn't for the, that kind of attention to detail and your guys's like, you know, dedication to making it happen, dress the part, looking the part, acting the part, like getting getting the fan and all the other stuff. You guys even had like. Uh, the magazines and you found oh, yeah. the table. like it, this it would have been a disaster if you guys wouldn't have put that much effort into it yeah yeah production is a huge part that we can't overlook when it comes to authenticity in videos yeah, yeah fun uh, fact about the uh oh do you have something well actually i was going to mention uh wanda here mentioned that the fan was a death trap <laughs> it really was <laughs> you know, it really was because like the the cables were all like ripped up and it looked like if you touched it you're gonna get either electrocuted or set on fire maybe both i don't know but you know, <laughs> it was terrifying and uh nikki said i ain't no beep, and he uh, plugged it in himself i so, plugged it in <laughs> but it didn't oscillate so which is what we needed it to do so we just <laughs> screw it yeah uh, good thing you guys did not have a spinal tap moment right <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact about that, uh, so that magazine in the video i was like oh i hope you know when on the camera, it doesn't zoom up too close on it. No, it wasn't no, you know, Playboy or anything. It was actually like a Game Informer magazine <laughs> <laughs> from where I used to play video games. I still do, don't lie. Anyway. I know you um, do. Exactly. We play every now and then. Call of Duty yeah. Fridays, right? No. <laughs> yeah. If we can. <laughs> okay, so I got. I guess there is one thing here. There's a lot of fans here already commenting on which video you guys should do next. One person mentioned that you guys should do rock and roll all night and party every day. Really? I don't. I don't know that there is a video for that. There's like a uh, a montage of like live. Yeah, it's a montage thing. Uh, somebody also mentioned this is a good one and a challenge. Uh, Docking and do the whole "It's Not Love" video. That's been discussed, actually. No joke. And Kenny, uh, speaking of Kenny, I seen a video from of him. I don't know if you like a if he cleans windows or something, but he posted it in our our group page today. Uh, he was like up, you know, on this giant building, uh, rocking out to still the night. <laughs> and uh, I, like I said, I think he was like cleaning windows or something. Uh, if you if you're a fan of ours, go to our that or interact show army page. Oh, he's a painter, so that's really cool. I seen that. I was like, oh my gosh. That's amazing. We definitely Good job, Kenny. <laughs> Good job, Kenny. Well, and speaking of future concerts, guys, um, you know, with you know, um, Portia pulling off the whole Tawny Katain look, do you guys have an idea of thinking of bringing her on the set as Tawny while singing that song for a live show? Good question. Yeah, that's uh, someone I, I, I know actually brought that up to me uh, the other day, and he was like, that, that'd be a really cool idea to like have her uh, act that out on stage. And I was like, never thought of that, but that is a really cool idea. I mean, we the costume's there already. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, she has the costume, she has the look. All she has to do yeah. is come out, look at everybody with the glasses, take them off and go like, and walk away. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I, think her, uh, I think her mother actually mentioned something about that recently. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, you know, I have to see, you know, how it would work. Because I don't know how you would, you know, do that on stage. But I mean, it could be done. You know, yeah, uh, I think that could or, be or if you want, just uh bring out some cars, play here I go again, and then there you she'll dance all over the car. 
That could work. Get the Jaguar this time, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll just... <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll just okay. ask random people at the concert if we can borrow their car for the show. <laughs> can we borrow your car, sir? Your car's really cool. I need your car, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on a second. I got a cramp. Oh, gosh. I'm okay. Rub it. Rub the Charlie hole. <laughs> Eat bananas. Put your feet on the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it's very cold in here, and I've been trying to hold in my shivering. Speaking, of, long- the record- shivering. Speaking of the recording of the song, Jack and uh, Ryan – I mean, well, that, well, that honestly was probably like one take. I think there might have been a couple punch ins or something, but um, that was you guys. They played live together, bass and drums, on the mm-hmm. recording, and I think right. you knocked that out right th- together, right? Yeah, uh, I did it in one take, and there was just like one spot after the first chorus where I played a B and then a C. It was just like a little in front. So other than that, it was like one take. I just punched in because on the but da 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 on the da da, it was just like in front and it it stunk. So we fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other than that, like I don't, as far as recording goes, I think it's it's really nice to have the bass and drums record together because everyone can hear you know a click, but not everyone treats rhythm the same way. Some people play like certain notes on the front end some people play certain notes on the back end of the beat and if you just record to a click you don't get those like specific rhythmic interactions that you get when you're playing with someone that's why like Mm -hmm. when we play and we're wearing our in-ear monitors um it's super important to have the drums really loud because if we're all listening to that we'll all understand like where we're gonna play on the beat together you know Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's cool uh, that you say that because, you know, a lot of a lot of people don't like see the bass play. I mean, the bass players are very important in the band, but they don't like <laughs> look at like, oh, yeah, it's the bass player. <laughs> I mean, you guys do a lot of rhythm stuff to keep the band sounding great. So thank you. I think the well, bass players deserve more recognition. So, something uh, that I've learned in the past year is like, especially with bass and drums, if the bass if you're hitting um, the kick drum at the same time that you're playing like a note on the bass, you actually have to cut the note that you're playing like the length of it in half because it takes a second for the like really big um, sound waves of the bass to like leave the venue room, if that makes mm-hmm. any sense. So you have to almost play it shorter than you want to, which is just something interesting that I've learned playing with Ryan, who he's a tremendous drummer. Oh, yes, very. Yeah, I I have a lot of respect for him. He he did he did a great job in that video. I mean, he was just banging those drums like they were nothing. I'm like, go Jack, uh, go Ryan too, go Bo. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, I got a, a fan here. Chandler has spoken out saying that he hopes the video will make uh, 100,000 views, just like the "I Remember You" music video. Me Same too. <laughs> I, <laughs> Chandler, that's your job. Make it make it happen. <laughs> yeah honestly i mean the, the way that happens is people sharing it so if you're if you've seen the video uh or if you have the link to the youtube uh link share it share it with your friends and uh hopefully they'll share it and their friends will share it and hopefully it'll uh, it'll uh, get a ton of views so mm-hmm. all right and so my one one big question here um there's a part in the video um b- both in the original too and i'm glad you guys included this there's a part where you know t-bone yells you know still in the night and then it fades and then you see i don't know what effect that is but it, the face pops up and then it fades back okay so what did you guys do to do that because i was always curious uh how that works so uh <laughs> we were talking about this before uh it was actually a lot more difficult than i thought it was going to be um normally when you do something like that you do a specific shot with them in front of a green screen so you can you know rotoscope them out and then you can make the background disappear and put them wherever you want and just do whatever it's that layer but we didn't do a green screen shot uh so we i had to take the shot of him in front of the wall the wall in the parking garage that we intentionally um overexposed uh so i could have the overexposed part behind him 
act basically act as a green screen. So you in in the editing software you basically like cut around him and just mm -hmm. make the background disappear uh, by changing its opacity. And, right. Like, you guys, you guys did that really well because, you know, I was watching you. I went back to watch the original and kind of compare them side by side. And when I saw, you know, Coverdale's shot of doing that, then I saw T-Bones. I was like, whoa, that was like spot on. <laughs> yeah, I watched the video um, a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a couple. What, what amazed me was how fast you guys knocked it out because we shot that uh, the first weekend in October and it's the first weekend in November and we're already it's already released. Uh, I, I thought it was gonna be a month before we before we seen it. A, a and, lot of times it is, uh, but we actually us being so busy helped you guys out because oh, nice. you, we had <laughs> another couple of projects that were like lining up and we had to, had to have yours done before we started those other projects. So. There was some sleepless nights, but yeah, we got it done pretty quick. Nice, yeah, yeah, and, and I and basically the first edit that you shot me is what we used. I mean, there's like tiny little things that we edited out or re redid, but other than that, I mean, it was, I mean, the first first take was pretty much it, mm -hmm. which is pretty impressive. I, I like I said, I wasn't expecting it to be uh, released within a month, and uh, I'm glad it was, but uh, I definitely wasn't expecting that. Uh, this one person said that, wait, where is it? Yeah. Wait, no, this part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She said the same thing. She said that, that, that part that, you know, we were all talking about gator goosebumps. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it gave me the, the chills too. I was like, Whoa. Yeah, My face not... tends to do that. <laughs> <laughs> also your, I like your friend you have there, the teddy bear. What's his name? Um, Sir Rocks a lot. I don't know. I don't know what his bloody name is. <laughs> you just threw the bear. Music video, not the bear. Oh. <laughs> I was a music video star, okay? I don't have time for this. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the, I also like the beginning shot you know you guys uh, in the beginning of the of the video you see tawny kind of lying there you know doing that pose you know just like in the original where did you guys you know find what, what did you guys do to like set that up to get to get that perfect shot because that was pretty spot on we had a uh like some stuff that was already in that green room and we like looked at it and we looked at it in the frame and we were like will this work and then we we're we like we just really hated it and didn't want to go with it but luckily yeah the the guys they all like they were like no we got a table we got a chair we got a fan like we'll we'll set all that up for you and then uh yeah we had some some of our lighting that we brought in to make it look like really like 80s and a fog machine to really just fog up the whole place and make it look old school as hell. Yeah. We pulled out all of our, our eighties tricks out of our eighties trick bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before, before uh, the day before we went to scout the locations and Austin was talking about when we went into that green room, we're like, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> but when they got there with all the stuff, we made it work. Yeah, yeah. We shot that 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 opening scene and the couch scene uh, all in that same room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, to all of you guys that are tuning in just now, um, if you guys have any questions about the video, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll bring them up. Any any questions or any requests as well. So don't bring. Be sure to bring it up. Oh yeah, that table was like a ten dollar find at uh, a flea market, and you guys painted it to to look like the. Uh, mm -hmm. You yeah. guys painted it. Ha, yeah. Nice. We were uh, we were over the flea market and uh, we're like, hey, we need like a cheap table. And, and Nikki said, you know, we need like a like a table or something for the video. And I'm like, oh, okay. The day before, that's cool. All right, that's fine. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. You know, fine. Why not? Oh, we're pressed under pressure. You know, yeah, it's cool. And uh, you know, find the fan. I looked everywhere at this flea market for the fan, and then I'm like, you know what? I'll just drive out to wherever just to get this fan because I'm going to get it. I don't care. But anyways, I'm going through, you know, flea market looking for like different stuff. Finally find this table that was like 10 bucks. It was like a, uh, I want to say it was like a monitor, like stand, like table. And uh, I saw it and I was like, you know what? 
I don't know. Like, I didn't think it, you know, if I could, I didn't know if it would work painting it. I, but I was like, you know what? It's 10 bucks. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. And uh, picked it up, went over to Lowe's, picked up some paint, brush. That was that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Shout we out to Mama Bone for the painting. Whatever <laughs> we couldn't get, like, spot on to the video, we definitely made sure that we we got the vibe of it. We wanted to make sure the aesthetics mm-hmm. and the vibe and the mood matched more than anything. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Because we didn't have like a super '80s high-rise ho- hotel room to use, big right. window overlooking yeah. Los Angeles or whatever. So, <laughs> you know, whole '80s green room basically out of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it brought me back in time. I felt like I was really going back in time to the '80s. I mean, that's what the whole idea was, I believe. You no, know, I was I was showing it to somebody, um, and someone walked by and said, "Huh, that looks like a." Uh, a, a, a new take on an on an 80s video and i was like that's exactly what it is, what it is. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. that's, cool. that, that's you know the first impression somebody gets by walking by it and seeing it was like that and i was like that that's perfect that's exactly what we were going for so it's like thank you yeah <laughs> well so speaking of you know all the props that you guys use you know you guys had your costumes um i must ask where did uh where did uh you know where did Tani get her her outfit? Like, how did she get the outfit to make it look like Tani? Um, there was a lot of stuff. Um, so we got different bits and pieces from different locations. So you know, we'd pick, I'd pick up some things from uh, Amazon. I uh, found some stuff, and we kind of altered her outfits here and there. Um, Shein it's a clothing website, some stuff there. Um, some small odd and odds and ends jewelry and. Uh, you know, we pick up like, uh, what are they call fake play. I don't know. There's uh, basically like fake earrings. Got them for like clearance section, couple bucks over at like Walmart. Got a couple like bracelets and stuff here and there just to resemble the video. And uh, and they were, it's a, at least in my opinion, I didn't think they were cheap looking. I thought they looked great. So I was like, you know what? We'll just throw a little odds and ends here, a little couple bracelets. Uh, somebody was selling bracelets at the flea market for like a dollar a piece. I even got my little silver uh, bracelet I wear in the video. That was one dollar I got um, that same day before. And, uh, you know, just a couple odds and ends uh, we picked up here and there. Uh, honestly, I think the uh, your costume, T-Bone, you know, is probably my favorite costume in the uh, oh. whole video. Um, and, I guess I will say this, Jack, your costume was probably my second favorite. Sorry it's second, <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> Actually, I love all the costumes. I can't argue, but actually, your, co- his, your costumes were great. Actually, Jack's, T-Bone's, and uh, Getty's were pretty spot on to what they actually wore in their original video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mine was, was close, but not Oh, perfect. yeah, it was what? Not perfect. <laughs> well, I actually like the fact, uh, Nikki, you had your, your your own guitar, the guitar that looks like Paul Stanley's guitar. Mm-hmm. I noticed that you had that. Um, that was actually kind of cool that you had that in there, you know, a little montage to kiss but i had to say that did, did you customize uh customize that or did you just buy it on ebay or something? uh so uh paul stanley ha- is kind of the guy that kind of came up with that shattered glass look guitar yeah. or whatever but um <clears throat> my dad maybe 10 years ago found it on ebay and it was like 600 bucks so um we originally bought it to be basically a wall ornament you know like hang it up on the wall so it looks cool and uh, I fell in love with it. It actually sounds pretty decent, and um, it's a fun guitar to play live. And and uh, uh, I have cut myself a few times on that glass. It is uh, it is real glass, and it it will cut you. And I have bled, <laughs> but uh, but it is it, it's it's a cool uh, showpiece guitar, you know. So mm-hmm. I like playing it live. It was oh, yeah. making like laser beams shoot out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when we were shooting my, my scenes, I remember they were like, oh, man, it's shooting, like, light everywhere. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> uh, there's a, I was going to say, there's that little Latin Arena Rock Show effect right there, you know, showed some lasers coming out of the guitar. Yep. <laughs> maybe maybe next time have some pyrotechnics and, you know, blow up the stage. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. There you go. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I'm sure the venue won't care. So. Uh, hey, look, if Motley Crue can do it, if White Snake and Kiss can do it, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Who was the biggest troublemaker when shooting the video? Good question. Who was it? Ah, mm-hmm. probably Jack. <laughs> really, oh, Jack? Jack? Actually, actually, to tell you the uh, God's honest truth, it was probably Ryan because he showed up uh, huh. 
six o'clock. We had the whole day from two to eight and he shows up six o'clock. So we had to shoot like the band scene and his scene all really, really fast. Very drummer of him. Yeah, it's very drummer-esque of him. <laughs> uh, drummers, what can you do? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, who was the wildest animal of that, of the time shooting it? Wildest animal. Or should I say who was the wildest party animal? Who's crazy? Who was the craziest? Uh, there wasn't much party in it. We were kind of working all day. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was a very, yeah, the whole day was work. Yeah. But uh, it was fun, you know. It was fun. Yeah, I we mean, went through the uh, Wendy's drive-thru, if that's the party you're looking for. <laughs> oh, really? Which Wendy's? Wendy's. Which Wendy's? <laughs> yeah, was it my Wendy's? <laughs> no. I, I worked the, I don't, I worked I don't the one. So. Okay. Because I, I work over there near the one, one at Walmart, so that's the one I work at. Next time, you guys should pop in. I'll let you all in. On me. <laughs> I if we can do a whole song. In Wendy's. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my mother would be honored to let you guys do it. <laughs> you should be, hey, I'll use that as an advertisement. There you go. I like it. <laughs> Put it on TV. I'll bring these guys in and go like, okay, guys, here's what we're going to do. T-Bone's going to be outside singing. Uh, Nick is going to be right here on the cash <laughs> register strumming and saying, what can I get for you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, I don't <laughs> we, could, we could do something with uh like a fast food we could we could make that happen that would be pretty cool <laughs> i'm down for it grab, grab the microphone talk like calling orders back and like <laughs> the drummers got the fries yeah. right. yeah, exactly <laughs> with, with, with fry <laughs> grease everywhere all the, like the whole... <laughs> all the customers are going to come out and complain what's going on and you know the entire band's running the place that's why <laughs> video yeah. <laughs> yeah that'd be great do it no, I was surprised. <laughs> exactly. I was going to mention that you guys did a McDonald's thing one time. We did, yeah. Um, yes. I'm so bad. <laughs> they won't let You're, me back. They won't let you back? <laughs> no, I've been sending uh, letters uh, over to him saying, you know, how dreadfully sorry I am. And uh, <laughs> yeah, still working on that. Um, they still say, um, no, you'll never be allowed back. And uh, you suck. <laughs> you know, I didn't think it was necessary, but they did. Um, all I wanted was a sweet tea, and they had total buffoons. I did not say that on stream. I'm sorry. I love you. Please let me back. Oh my god! That's all I had to say about that. <laughs> Hashtag well, fourth jump. Well, as we're moving away from fast food over here, let's go back to the crazy '80s party. Um, if you guys, if you guys are thinking about this, um. How, what is your goal for this video? Like, what are the views for it? What do you think it should get? Three million views. Good goal. <laughs> Fame and fortune beyond our wildest dreams. That's my realistic goal. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, honestly, I, I don't, I don't know what it'll get. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, I don't know that it really matters. Uh, we, we did it to, um, basically have another way, you know, uh, the live show is what we do. Right. But right. Um, we thought it would be a cool way because video content is kind of a big deal right now. And we thought it'd be cool to have something where people could go and watch us do something. And you can go watch a promo video and, and that's like a, a minute and it's a very short glimpse of what we do. But we thought it'd be kind of cool to do something where we did a whole song and, uh, and paid tribute to like the band and how they did the video uh, and recreate it and, and, and that kind of a thing. So at the end of the day, I don't know how many views really matter. Uh, just that the people that do see it think it's cool and, and appreciate it. And I've seen nothing but positive, co you know, feedback so far, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll get, hopefully there will be a lot of views and hopefully a lot of people will dig it. And hopefully a lot of people will be turned on to us because of it. Mm -hmm. And also, by the way, the, uh, Denise says that Jack should do a – wait, that's not Denise. Wait, that is Denise. You know what? It's okay. That's Denise. <laughs> she said that you, Jack, should do a hair flip of some sort. Ooh. Do it. 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 Oh, I – Yeah. <laughs> hair flip. Okay, T-Bone, your hair flip. 
Oh, gosh, hold on. I got glasses on. I'm going to fling my... Actually, you know what? It'll be more funny if I fling my glasses across the room. You ready for this? All right. Uh, oh, hold on. I got to tell Hector a headband off. Oh, my goodness. All right. Throws it down and... Ooh, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Is that hair? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nikki. Let's see what you you can hey, do. I know hey, you got the hey, hair for this. Um, go for it. Oh, uh, subtle. Yeah. You know what? Here's my hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see, so I'm gonna flip my hair back. Me neither. Hey, hey, guess guess who I am? <laughs> You're Tawny. Guilty. You know, it's hey, funny hey. when I. When I first saw that video, the original video, I swear, I don't know if it's just me, but I thought Tawny looked like Steven Tyler in that shot. <laughs> All right, tell us how you really feel, Seabass. Is that what you think? <laughs> did, you think, did you think she was attractive in that scene when you thought she looked like Steven Tyler? Very much. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking me on him, the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Tawny is very attractive. Uh, Steve, uh, well, He's Steve, and no, not really. But that's not the point. You look like a lady. <laughs> that, that's exactly what it felt like. <laughs> well, hey guys, look, it's been great talking to you. It was good talking about this great video that you guys made, and I really do hope that it makes the many more views and you know brings out new new fans to uh to you guys. And who knows, maybe you, you guys should use it for an introduction when you guys do a live show. Seriously, yeah, I think it'd be yeah. great. That could be a cool idea. Um, eventually, we plan to do some video screens. And uh, one of the ideas was to kind of use that during our live show if we're using video screens. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, definitely, guys. But in, in the meantime, you know, we do have to get off here because, you know, I got to go party it up at Wendy's and get it ready. So... <laughs> I want you all to take care and keep on rocking. Uh, oh, no. Is that the sign off? <laughs> yeah, sign off. Uh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs>